Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today I get to make an exceptionally fun video because I get to show you the custom Lego minifigure scale TIE Interceptor and the Interceptor from the Emperor's Royal Guard, both designed from the builder Jarek. The TIE Interceptor was the faster, sleeker, and deadlier fighter in the Imperial Navy with the bent wings and four-pointed panels. This ship benefited from greater visibility and maneuverability, often giving it the edge over even veteran rebel pilots in a dogfight. Now, for the most elite warriors of the Empire, a special variant of the TIE Interceptor was developed for Emperor Palpatine's Royal Guard. With the most sacred of assignments, the ship was given far more than just a crimson paint job. It enjoyed greater speed, maneuverability, and firepower than the Interceptor, and it even had a hyperdrive and shields on top of that. Now, jumping back to over three years ago, we made a video for the first version of Jarek's TIE Interceptor. This time around, he has completely remade his Earth earlier model from the ground up with his mindset on across the board improvements. It's stronger, more proportionally accurate, has a greater level of detail, an improved cockpit, and an elegant display stand. During the design process, he also built the Royal Guard Interceptor that benefits from many of the design improvements, plus some. It has much more than extra solar panel arrays on the outside. It's full of subtle alternate details spread throughout the body. Before I start highlighting the closer details of these models and what makes them truly next level creations. First, I do want to say that if you'd like to build either of these for yourself, you can get the instructions at brickvault.toys linked in the description below. With each purchase comes the PDF step-by-step -step guide for building and an uploadable digital parts list for the TIE Interceptor, or you can purchase the more flashy and elusive Royal Guard TIE Interceptor. All of our models are tested in real life. Instructions are troubleshot to make sure they're a breeze to follow, and parts for models are chosen for accessibility. Buying instructions is an awesome way to help support not just us at the channel, but also the talented designers that we work with like Jarek. He is a next level builder with a growing list of master creations. And as an interesting side note, the Interceptor and the TIE Fighter were the very first creations ever listed in the web store. So it's pretty cool to see what a fresh take on this design can really do for a model. And with that, let's jump straight into it. One of the things that popped out to me really quickly once this model was complete is that the four wing panels were a little longer than last time. The tips have come forward by a hair, making the front angle slightly sharper on the solar arrays. And in the rear of the ship, they extend out a little further as well. It's a subtle difference that barely increases the length of the model, but ultimately makes it a lot more accurate and certainly feels a bit sharper and sleeker in the hand. While the wing dimensions changed, so did much of the greebling details attached to them. The inside construction of the wings is dramatically different, and that is in part due to the addition of slightly newer pieces that weren't around a couple years ago, but also the internal structure of the fighter itself changed, which also ultimately altered the connection point of the arm to the wing itself. So taking a look at the core of the body, the Interceptor essentially is a completely different model from its original 2018 build. The windscreen and recognizable quarter round dome bricks that you have in the front still remain, but that's almost where all the similarities stop for the most part. With the different internal structure, the pilot has not just more room to fit in easily, but the cockpit itself has much more detail. The sidewalls have trans slopes and printed tiles to show display screens, and there are much more detailed physical controls for the pilot minifigure to interact with. Now, speaking of the pilot minifigure, I recommend the Major Von Reg fig for the Royal Guard pilot. I think it looks even better if you switch his helmet out with the Royal Guard helmet. And now let's get into this crimson model. The most dramatic alteration aside from the color change is the addition to the extra solar arrays added to the outside of the wings. They create a bit more dimension mention and body to the overall presence of this model and require some altered internal parts in order to actually get them to connect to the body properly. Their attachment is seamless and pretty darn strong in fact, but before having this physical build in the studio, I always just thought of this as the red tie interceptor in my mind, but now that I've had this model on my desk for a while, its different shape has really started to set in for me and it feels like a totally different ship now. 
throughout this entire model, several smaller pieces and some of the not so small pieces needed to be switched around for different ones in order to get that proper coloration. Some of the changes were pretty simple while others required a bit more technique and finesse. It's a bit difficult to see from afar like this side by side shot here, maybe a freeze frame or two, you can play spot the difference, but probably the easiest thing to notice is the detailing in the front by the windscreen. It's been a lot of fun fleshing out the larger universe of mini fig scale Star Wars ships. These TIE models in particular have been super fun to uh, build and compare with each other. And now that this update has come down the line, it's really crazy to see that the original TIE Interceptor has less than 50% of the pieces required to build this new version. It's a pretty dramatic difference, and it's awesome that Jarek took such a well-built creation and came at it again with a willingness to scrap core elements of the internal structure. That's a pretty scary thing for a designer to do sometimes, but I think it totally paid off here. We've got some truly special LEGO creations. Again, you can pick up the instructions for either of these ties at www.brickvault.toys and build these awesome models for yourself. Check that link in the description below. Once again, if you enjoy our content, you can always like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what types of other creations you'd like to see in the future. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah!